So I'd like to introduce Jeff Magic. Welcome. Howdy. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, you got to move a little closer to the mic so the people can hear you. Howdy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Jeff, let's talk a little bit about uh, your uh, magic tricks that you do. Because uh, how did you get into being a magician, first of all? Well, I, you know, it, it's a long story. I'll, I'll make it short. I, it, Dave and I kind of uh, collided and became friends in 99. And, uh, it was 12 years. That's okay. Yes, it, my certification, I still have it on my wall. And uh, it's yellow and it says it's smart. You better, you better recertify. Management of anatomical response training, which uh, I still yeah. don't know what the hell that means. Neither okay. do I, but it sounded good. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I, I meet this uh, Hulk here and uh, very, very friendly, very personable young man. And uh, I became a personal trainer, wound up getting my own client base, went into their homes and stuff, and I'm like, you know, one, two, three, I was obsessed with bodybuilding. And I just realized, I was like, this isn't for me. So uh, I have more of an entertainer's personality. It's genetic, it runs in the family, uh, we're all nuts. And, uh, you're all magicians uh, or you're all nuts? Oh, no, no, we're all nuts. Okay. Yeah, my grandfather's an artist, uh, my, grandma, my grandmother was a professional uh, cigarette girl and tap dancer. Mm. Short did you uh, tap dance? I do, you I do. do. I wear a little pink tutu like this uh, on the weekend. Can you so. tap dance on the weekend? Did you tell him that we have sex? No, 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 I don't tell him that's that. Okay. Right. Uh, it's all right. He's Go, pregnant. Get, get to the magician. Right get to the magician. He likes to bully me around a lot, too. He thinks he has higher status than get. me, but that's okay. No, so anyway, so a long story short, you know, I saw a couple guys do uh, some magic shows. Mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, it'd be amazing. But I didn't have the confidence to do it. I said, I couldn't picture myself on the stage. I was like, meanwhile, I had been stripping. I started stripping at 24. You were a male stripper. That's correct. For men or for well, women? I could I would be hope he's a male stripper. Well, actually, no, I've done both. You have. You've, you've I've done gay. gay I've done gay. I've done straight. I've done lesbian. My third show is a lesbian. I'm in the back doing shots of tequila. Really? Like, I can't believe I'm in front of 300 people. It was incredible. I was like, this uh, I can't do this. I'm, Magnus, have you ever been to a gay strip club? No, I don't think so. No, no. <laughs> I did a gay strip show out of yeah. the swamp out east. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. No, place. but no, it was so interesting. Jimmy Hanks at it. You know, the swamp. I've been there. Yeah. Have you moved there? It's a nice place. I mean, you know, what is I mean, like, Jimmy? still there. I it's was making a hundred. I made 150 bucks for 20 minutes, right. man. I mean, you so, know. so you went from stripping to magic. Stripping the magic, which is like, everybody had a joke for that because that's like being a cop during the day and a robber at night. They, they yeah. just don't. And I actually had a woman hire me that I did a magic show for her eight year old son. Her girlfriend's hired me uh, two weeks later to strip for her that night. Mm -hmm. I just pour some sugar on me, was my opening song. It was nice. incredible. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I eventually had this guy that taught me all the tricks and stuff. I'm not sure where the hell I'm looking. Am I looking at you or the camera? Which doesn't one? matter. It, it doesn't really matter. There's no right. rules here. Okay, good. Uh, I'm on. Our show is the trip. Well, I, Show me a trick. The thing is, he, you don't have to do anything. He's trying to you don't have to, right, you don't have to make Mr. Jesus see, appear or anything like that. Although that would right. be so something we would is, like. He's an eloquent oh. speaker. That's right. his magic. Did he play hide magic. the sausage? Was that one of his tricks? Look, here, here's the hide the sausage behind his What are you doing? Ready? One, two, three. Everybody say abracadabra. Abracadabra. Cha 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 cha. That's pretty good. Do that again. No. Uh, you got any other tricks? No. Yeah, yeah, I got another one. You ready? I'm gonna yeah. make myself disappear. One, okay. two, three. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, magic wasn't enough for you though, Jeff. Because if it was just magic, I would not have gotten you in here. Because the magic is not enough to captivate the RX muscle audience. Boring. Here. Right. <laughs> so you went on to something else. You read a book that that really impacted did your life and a matter of fact he sent me a copy of the book and the book was called The Game that's correct talk to us a little bit about what that book is about uh wow if you ever have uh if you ever have something that changes your life I've never had a, a clearer moment in my life where everything in my life has just gone like like tunneled like went wide and then like close and then like your head spins and just like Wow, I can see clear. I know what's going on with this world. I know everything. I understand now. It's like the Bible. Pretty much. The Bible for, the Bible for picking up women. Well, oh, I didn't is. understand women or female psychology okay. at all. See, I had been running around um, basically having women telling me, you know, here I am a stripper. I got women telling me I'm meeting women all the time. You're great looking. Your body's gorgeous. I was on steroids. Right. I had a V-shape. I had a, 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 a George Reeves uh, body, right? Is Steve, Superman? Steve, Steve Reeves. Reeves. Steve Reeves type of build, you know, V-shape, 32-inch waist, you know, uh, I mean, 17-inch. But you couldn't pick up women? George no. I was, I was dating fat girls. Really? <laughs> 
It was due to Olivia. It was due to it was due to a couple of things. I got I got rejected. I got rejected about five or six times. They want to junior high school. And you let the guy talk. He was talking to George. All the girls thought I was cute, like I one most handsome in first grade stuff like that. They thought I was cute initially, but because I was doing Michael Jackson and doing weird stuff for attention, right? And I had no social skills. They thought I was gay sometimes. Yeah, I got fagiola a few times. My last name's Feriola. Okay, Ferry. Hola. Yeah. And uh, like the combination just didn't work out. So I was too good looking for the fat girls. A lot of times they would reject me because they'd be weird. What are you dating me for? And the pretty girls, I'd kiss their ass and fall in love with them right away, and they don't want that. So I was kind of screwed in all ends. So I had no understanding of it. So here I am, 30 years old, walking around with like social skills of like a 15 year old. And this right. is part of because I have ADD. Mm -hmm. So we have a little more trouble picking up on social skills. Gotcha. I read this book. And I, I just realized all the mistakes that I had been making my whole life. So well, I give started, us some of the mistakes that the guys make when they try to pick up a girl. Well, let me let me let like me. If you if you could approach beautiful Nicole over there, how would you? the first. Mistake. How would you approach? How would you approach the mistake. it? You, I would never. I, I would ask her if she was a fat girl at one time. I would say <laughs> no, because she has a really good personality, and usually, you know, fat girls are the ones that have the biggest and nicest personalities. Were you a fat girl in high school? I was never a fat girl. Well, the reason I say that to you is no, the only reason I'm saying that to you is because fat girls usually have the nicest, most well-developed personalities because they have to rely on that. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you, you know, is that you have a fat girl's personality, and I think you're really cool. Yeah. Right, I'll accept that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> like, so the comedian that breaks the ice. Oh, the ice. oh yeah. absolutely. That's how it starts that. off, right? There. Now, if, if, if you had a guy come up to you to club and, and then start off like that, it's kind of different, right? Would you? There's I would banter. Probably no, but there's banter the on linking or whatever. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and as we go and we progress, she you would, would continue. Become, so, what would you do after that? Well, I'd bust her balls and teach her, and I'd be like, you know, what's up with the red hair? Did you have a fight with a lobster or something? You know? <laughs> so you'd insult her a little bit. Well, it's it's really like yeah. the boy so pushing the edges. It's you go back to fifth grade. Whatever worked in yeah. fifth grade works That's what I'm now. Saying, yeah. It, it's not really. It, it gives them a, a feeling like instead of always the ass kissing, you're pretty, you're pretty, because that's yeah. what she gets all day. She just stacks that on top. I'm giving her something different. Why does he want? You know, it? like I mean, I would be like, you know, doing stupid stuff. Like I go over here and I go, hey Nicole, how you doing? I'm sorry, what's your name again? Tortilla. Okay, nice to meet you. Stand up for a second. Her and her girlfriend here. Hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. I mean, you can touch me, but you got to buy me flowers. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you want to see a magic trick? Like I already showed them the card. I'll be so right. mad that he was just right. ignoring me. Yeah, 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 of course. That's why he's doing it. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm confirmed. I'm saying what I do is I, you know, this is a very, this is an old one. I don't know, but here, I mean, I'll show you a magic trick. Here, stand up for a second. They're at a bar. They're okay, a bar. this is in a bar. This is how you get yourself in, so it looks like the girls are gaming you. Know, okay. Bunch of Spanish girls here. across the street. I like to see you try it. How graceful, a ballerina. <laughs> Okay, now I've just stolen her seat. Now she'll okay. stay there. She she might joke and say, "Give me back my seat." No, now no. now looks like if you look here, it looks like I'm the man. Now normally, they, I, she's doing this for the audience, but she, normally no, it, I really would do this. Not standoffish, <laughs> and this is how it is. Now I look like the man. Now all the other girls are looking. They're seeing that I'm with an attractive girl. Now all the other girls are going to be more receptive to me because I have this going on. If I walk around them, I say, oh my God. You're the have, alpha. I have. That's You're correct. the alpha, the alpha male. male of the, of the You're the king of the jungle. You're now, the lion king. That's correct. You, you understand. command you everyone. No talking. Simba, be quiet. <laughs> you get the psychology, but no, what I do is I pawn them. I pivot. I pawn them. Mm -hmm. I say, guys, and I'm by myself most of the time. I've done over a thousand poachers in a row. So you're not, in, you're not like shy or anything like that? You don't I desensitize myself to it. It's conditioning, just like with gotcha. anything else. You know all about it. You've read psychology. Mm -hmm. You know, and you can condition. You, we have brain plasticity. They found out about it. I'm sure you've done a little reading on it. Mm -hmm. I've caused my brain. That mechanism has been So you rejection does not matter to you. You do uh, not. It, it doesn't it, affect it's, you. It's learned. It's learn there's no such thing as uh, rejection in my mind, the way I frame it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a learning experience. It's the next thing, what not to do. Gotcha. Like I'm, like Edison with the light bulb. The mm -hmm. next way not to do something. 10,000 experiments. So now, that's correct. Yeah. Now, here we go. That's the man that reads right there. Now, <laughs> what I would do is point them. I take the girls and go, come here, I want you. I'm with myself. I've done this a million times. Yeah. You've got to meet my friend Bobby. Because this is the fat, ugly girl. Right. <laughs> Bobby is fucking awesome, man. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so now what I do is we're not going to walk because we're going to... Uh, oh, actually, we can here. Come on over here, guys. Is she supposed to be following? Yeah, of course. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, 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 she's so see. into it. You'll follow. <laughs> He's got your girlfriend with him. You're going to go. <laughs>
Now we're over here. We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> what I usually do is I in the club like this. No, 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 not like that. See, you're trying to get close. close. You like my jacket, I know. <laughs> now what I do is I normally I'll say, all right, let's find Bobby. So we're walking, we're walking. Now what am I doing while I'm doing? I'm building social proof. That means that all the girls and guys think I'm the man. Now guess what? Because I've done this. When I go to open up the next group of girls that have seen me walk by, talk to the camera. They will be. The next time that I walk yeah. past the group of girls that I sometimes I nudge girls like right. sometimes I'll tap them like, hey, don't don't you um oh wait I'll tell you later <laughs> now I can open them later because I got these two <laughs> okay, okay boom next group don't I wait your hair is but the shoe all right we'll talk later now I can go back because they're all warmed up they've seen me with other girls they know I'm not the defense shielded down they think this is my girlfriend right they've seen that I'm. You know, the status man, I'm the man. Right. I look like I have more money, more wealth. A man with other women on his arms is completely, the whole place is warmed up. I'll go around the whole venue. Any of the girls that I think that are hot, I'll tap on the shoulder. So she might not even be the girl you're going after. You might just be using her to hook up with the other I girls. I girls all the time. I'm like, girls are okay looking as soon as right. I walk in. What if the girl, the first girl likes you? Well, it depends on how hot she is. Yeah, And if okay. she's a person that I'm compatible Do with. Approve? If she does Is she hot enough? Do I this one? Yeah, I have to be part... The, my person kind of the way it works is part goofball. Part, uh, like if I fart, you think it's funny. Um, also serious and have depth. I like women that read and educate. I don't just go full of anymore. So would you fart the first time you meet a girl? I fart always on the first date. I go like this, go one, two, three, four, go ahead. And then I let one rip. And they think, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, I, do I can't the, produce it. I thought you could do it on cue. I can't produce it. I, I had a friend that used to no. do it on cue. I had a friend that used to fall <laughs> on cue. Anyway, all right, let's go back. <laughs> he used to go over to it. Right, quiet, Mr. G, for a second. <laughs> this is another one that you can do a lot with women that you don't know that well. Okay. That. You're allowed to do that? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Hello, my name is Jack Olock, CEO and Chief Scientific Officer of VPX Redline. I designed Redline Ultra Hardcore with a dual action, micro tab, and liquid delivery system. This makes Redline Ultra Hardcore the fastest acting, longest lasting, strongest stacking fat in the history of sports nutrition. First, micronized particles within the liquid phase of the delivery system enter the body within seconds. Then the black and blue microtabs bypass the destructive acidic environment of the stomach. They then enter the alkaline environment of the intestines where they burst open and release potent active ingredients into the system. Amazingly, the black and blue microtabs lead steadily into the body for up to three hours. Redline Ultra Hardcore's proven steady state release of actives starts to work in 45 seconds and last up to several hours. This is hardcore, scientific, cutting edge technology. This is the most advanced tri action, dual micro tab, and liquid delivery system in the history of sports nutrition. Because you want to burn fat fast, I made Redline Ultra Hardcore. You are hardcore. That's why you need VPX Redline Ultra Hardcore, the most technologically advanced fat burning delivery system ever created. Get yours today nationwide at GNC, bodybuilding.com, and vpxsports.com.
Sox champion original thinking and carries that thought process to its logical conclusion in the form of unique supplements that strictly adhere to the core nutritional principles of Dave Palumbo, founder of Species Nutrition. Visit SpeciesNutrition.com to purchase the next generation of high-quality supplements available today that fully adhere to the theory of natural selection which insists that only the fit survive. SpeciesNutrition.com this is the Heavy Muscle Show with your host, Steve Palumbo. As long as you use experiments, <laughs> yeah. you do things to them. Like I say, can I tell you something about lions and animals? You know we're homo sapiens, right? Absolutely. She's giving me like the bedroom. I was like, I'm going to, oh, <laughs> it's not working, honey. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. I know you fart and cast gas. <laughs> And forward, good. We go up and down like this. Oh, good, you're good at that. Okay. <laughs> now you take this like this, right? and you go lions, and and also our ancestors from that's the most sensuous part style, of a woman from doggy style. Yeah. Did not did you ever notice that lions grab the manes of the hair when they? Yeah. Well, they're messing up that, that hair. We right have now. that too. This version, I do some clubs all the time. Yeah. This version is this. Now this turns her on right now. Unless is that turning you on? Unless she's had a bad experience. No, I'm actually she's saying, you're really messing <laughs> up my hair. <laughs> but unless she's had a bad experience with a man, yeah. this is turning her on biologically. Or she has circuits mm -hmm. in her brain that have that. Okay. I can do that with this too. I can say, listen, I do this all the time with women. Right. Like, this spot right here is a very, very erogenous zone. And the spot right underneath the leg. Now I'm touching her. She's getting turned on. As I'm touching her, you right. know about this oxytocin is being released in her brain. Mm. The love hormone. Yeah. She's becoming more attached to mm -hmm. me, even if she talks to other men, because I'm okay. touching her in places that all the men. I can make you say yes. Go ahead, count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did that for a minute? Yeah. Now, <laughs> <laughs> you can take this here. You can go like this and go. You can and you can really get them going. Now, what if the what if the girl gets pissed though? What if the girl gets mad? I've never had a girl get mad. Really? Have to have <laughs> there are <laughs> people out there. I haven't run into them. I've only gotten punched in the face once out of all the approaches I've done over twenty thousand approaches. Since really? One time. Why'd you get punched? I said the guy had psychological problems. He was twenty-two. It was. Uh, oh, a guy like, punched you. Yeah, not a girl. It was a guy and a girl. It was last year, actually. I, I studied Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, so I'm very fortunate that my because I got knocked out. My body just went in and started doing the moves. Mm -hmm. But I was that far on last year. A guy and a girl. And uh, no, I'm sorry. It was a beautiful little girl and two guys, about twenty-two years old. And I said, you know, like like she has a lot of guys probably. The prettier they are, the more guys they have in their social circle. They're sitting right. there waiting like dummies. Like this guy, yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. They're usually dating jerks. Like she, there's two types of free girls. He did get her to come here tonight. Yeah, that's a dominant move on his part, isn't it? He's got free tips for me. Don't worry. Get. I got news for you. Listen, these girls here have two types of, of there's two types of girls, first of all. There's, there's friendly girls that are right. pretty, and there's bitches. There's two types. <laughs> right. Which is easier to pick up? Well, you see, pretty girls are actually easier to pick up, pick up than um, average to kind of pretty girls. Because super pretty girls are so intimidating and guys are like Nobody so speaks to them. That if they get a guy that can just roll up, yeah. totally be himself, joke with them, push them, take them in there, go like, treat them like, you know, go like this. Yeah, you're a fucking monkey. You know, <laughs> that, it's, it's the teasing banter. It's that vibe. It's that... Play and fun is how you get one. Yeah. Has, he, has he ruined it already since his... Well, he's digging himself into what's called the friend zone. Uh -huh. he's, the, he's an orbiter. Yeah. And there's about five and ten. The hotter they are, the more group guy friends, they're fucking themselves by not getting sexual. See, you either go in too quick with sex, right. first, second date, don't do it. If right. you want to make them think you... If you want to have sex quicker, right. take them out to four places instead of one on a date. They'll think that they know you longer because they have more memories. <laughs> and they'll backwards rationalize it when they're in bed with you. Really? <laughs> I'm not kidding. You'll have sex with them in four hours instead of ten. I've done this over and over. Now, what if you screw up with a girl? Like, right? Like, like you, you didn't handle this. Now you're in damage control. Right. Can you, can you redeem yourself from that? Can Depends you come out of it? That's, if you it's how far is he right now? I don't know how long you've been on her. About a month? Is, yeah, he, is, he, is he? <laughs> you need to be very direct and just be like, look, I, all this was bullshit. I've been secretly, you know, like, I don't know, pawning myself off to you as a friend. I really want to. Hey, it started, it started with the, the booty pants. Dude, you gotta the make booty pants. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I say hello? Sorry, with this girl? You gotta start physically, you gotta say, look, 
we're done. Because she'll get so comfortable to your nature of being non-sexual, she'll start to see as a brother. See, we always want to screw girls because we're men. It doesn't matter if it's 10 years. She'll get so comfortable with you being, you'll be like a brother. She'll be like, ew. Yeah, of that would you're be in the friend zone, that's it. You're done. You are done. Now, there's a couple other things that guys don't know about. Finished already. You, guys, <laughs> you guys can have your own comedy show. You can bounce off each other well. Yeah. There's one other thing that guys don't realize about girls, the 90-10 rule. What's that? When you meet a woman and the you roll up to them, yeah. you can't go into the normal, hi, this is what she gets all the time. The first thing out of the mouth, God, you're beautiful. God, you have sexy legs. All the time. She doesn't even hear it anymore. She's like, ugh. Is that true? I can get in better. Uh, okay. I hear it constantly. Right. If I could get in better with a little bit like you, know, you look a little bit like Bill Cosby, especially around the <laughs> I really like your eyes, especially the left one, more than I could by telling her. I, I'd, I'd actually get in better pissing her off a little bit than getting her like being a friendly guy. Yeah. You guys think because you're taught, if you want to have friends, how do you get be nice? If you want to have a pretty girl, supersize it. Be super friendly. No, 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 that doesn't work. So they usually date jerks because jerks have this like, I don't give a fuck attitude. They ah. call them back in five minutes? No. Yo, I'll call you back in five minutes. Click, I don't call them back for two days. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you did that? Would you be nasty? But you'd still, would you go back out with him though? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 at least she's honest. Yeah. Yeah. Everything that I'm a like, hot girl does, take everything a hot girl does to you and turn it around. It's called flipping the script. Right. And it work. It's whatever they do. Mm -hmm. You know, they do back turns. And I think I like what you're talking about right now. You're joking around a little bit, whatever. But they feel it. They feel it. You, you have your back turned to them. So you're rejecting them. You know, them. there's a prettier girl. You can run a jealousy plot line. Jealousy will get her going. Her heart will pound. She'll start having adrenaline rush. And if that girl's prettier than her, she's going to be affected by that. Mm -hmm. I might even have that girl sit in my... Or bring her over and be like, this is my friend Samantha. Blah, blah, blah. If I have a good enough person out, she thought I was funny. We right. laughed and we bonded. She's not going to say goodbye. It's just like if I introduce you to a hot blonde with big tits. I'm like, can you magically go, Dave? Can I say, you're not attracted to her anymore. Can you stop yourself from wanting to have sex with her? Of course not. You can't draw. If she's attracted to my personality, she can't stop it. Right. There's no way. It's not humanly possible. Jimmy, uh, let me ask you your opinion, your expert opinion on this. Do you, uh, is this stuff making sense to you? In your mind? I've been doing this shit for years. You don't do this kind of stuff. You don't have the biting on the arm and all that. You just get drunk, I, did. All. I did that shit for years ago, man. I like the way he said that. For years. He's just learning. Now. <laughs> I love how he's trying to take the mic, Jeff. All right, let, let's let's go back to a couple scenarios here. All right, what, what's the ninety ten rule? Is so important. All right, tell us the ninety ten rule. You have to do ninety percent of the talking for the first five to, until the hook until they want you. When you first walk up to a group of girls, they're so used to they're there for attention. Like they're backwards rational. They have a uh, we have a, actually have a replication uh, circuit. Our first thing is survival. And right. then replicate to okay. reproduce, reproduce to spread our genes. Okay, that's all. Once you, you know, do that, you're good. So you're saying that. that's a basic, like inbred instinct. One thousand, you, you cannot. Once you're twelve or thirteen, it. it starts kicking in. All right. And for girls, they wind up having sex at fifteen, sixteen. Their procreation stuff starts kicking in, and they just go off and they make themselves as pretty. So as what you're possible. saying is you need to know the rules essentially of the game. And yeah. once you know the rules, that's you it. can manipulate the an rules edge, to your advantage. You always want to have an edge to your personality mm -hmm. because then you'll have an emotional impact. Like you want to hit this girl where. She She's like, boom. And she's like, I can't stop thinking about that guy. And when you call, you know. I mean, I've called her lizard head, uh, you know, banana brain, muffin face, you know, whatever. She knows. I've called her a thousand names. I'm like, hey, what's up, lizard head? She's going to know out of all the other guys that said, you know, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't even remember her name. What is it? Nicole. I got Nicole. Yeah. You know, it's like, here's a 90-10 rule. You okay. walk up to a bunch of girls. You have to be able to do 90% of the talking. Mm -hmm. Because girls, you can't just think that they're going to run with it. Here's what she gets most of the time. She goes to a bar club. She knows she looks sexy. She's nervous at first. She has a couple drinks. She gets pumped up. Her ego gets pumped up slowly by more and more guys hitting on her. And then she starts to strut her shit. They start doing bubbly dancing. <laughs> and then her girlfriend's cock block her by pulling and going, I got to go dance now because her other <laughs> friends are jealous. <laughs> now, listen. Here's what you do, girls. You walk in. And, you, you know, you could walk and be like, hey, what are you guys doing over here? Man bashing? You know, whatever. Just break it open. Hey, what's going on? High five. I'm Jeff. What's going on? Home slice. What? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, you know, she's giggling already like a baboon. So, <laughs> like, you know, you see? And she's laughing again because this is what's going on. But the thing is this. you got to do 90% of the talking mm -hmm. until you get to the hook point. The hook point is when they want you to stay, not leave. When you first go up, even if you're good looking... They're not sure if you're just like a, a good looking guy with like nothing to say or you're really cool. Mm -hmm. When they find out What you're if you're cool, not a good looking guy though? That's the thing. This is what I wanted to tell you. You can look like did anyone watch Sex in the City? Do you remember Harry? 
when he sat on the couch naked? Did anyone of his? No, but what if like Magnus goes? Not that you're a bad looking guy, but what if you're Magnus? He's a little eccentric. <laughs> what if he goes up to? How is he going to approach a girl? Yeah. Well, what you do is you take him and you turn him into the coolest nerdy version of himself that he can be. And you expand the range of his personality by working with me little by little. So it takes about six months to a year for someone like him. How, yeah, I was going to say how much like well, the, it's psychology. There's so you, he needs to do six months with you. There's a lot of cognitive you te- behavioral. You teach this stuff. Well, yeah, you could take. Her, take but there's a subset of women that are going to go for him that like geeky really? guys. There's a really? subset of guys that only who go. F- there's only a subset of women that will find guys that are this big attractive. There's right. a subset for fat guys. There's, right. uh, there's some guys that like fat girls. There's some guys that like skinny girls. There's some guys that like right. bubble butts, black girls. Nicole, do you like the, the the geeky guys or the muscular guys? Or You're the putting what? her on the spot right, right. now. Well, I want to social. Know. There's always social yeah, pressure right now. He may not be now. attracted yeah. to her neither. She, she can't answer that honestly. No, I'm just saying what type of guy she goes for. I can answer. I like big guys. Okay. I like guys with bodies. All right. So he's right. There is a. That's your category. That's my okay. category. Now, in my in this suit, do I look like a big guy to you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was expecting that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, you look like you have. But like he's six also going for girls that he's body. attracted to. He, yeah. In other words, he's not he's, he's not going to go after any girl. He's going after ones that he's attracted right. to. Yeah. yeah, there's a scent that he likes and he's attracted. And Thanks for clearing that up, George. Yeah, yeah. 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 you're right about that. There's a scent too. Would you say be attracted to? What would Mister What would Mister G strategy? His strategy is to like smother the person. No, I ignore the guy. 